Hi everyone, Mr. Barden here. This is just gonna be a real quick video, uh, just kind of introducing the next big series of videos that I'll be putting out over the upcoming weeks. Uh, so I teach a course on JavaScript coding and we utilize a few various resources throughout that course. One of them is the library P5 Play. Now up until this point, we've been using version 2.0 something of P5 Play, but actually not too long ago, uh, sometime over the summer I believe, uh, they released version 3.0. So this upcoming series of videos will be utilizing the most recent and up-to-date version of this library. I'll be going through the same content I have in order to you know create and achieve the various things we do throughout the course, but utilizing specifically this version 3.0 that I happen to have on the screen. I'll put a link to it uh, all in the description so you can check it out. But this is just so you can understand that uh, of the upcoming videos, um, you know, the concepts may be similar, but the how we're doing them, what we can do is all different. Just a little quick short demo. This is again the, the new page for the P5 Play library, but you can see a whole bunch of uh, different things uh, going on here, They're small or big, but you know, just some code demos um, to mess around with. There's actually a fair bit of them. Um, you know, click to create a new sprite, but you can see um, a handful. There's some of them aren't quite done, but you know, some of the various demos to play around with. Uh, but the most important thing will be under the docs. And this is where all of the reference material for this library will be. So in future videos, I'll kind of be going through um, the main ones here and uh, how we can utilize them to create games, put sprites on our, uh, you know, in our various contexts and have them interact with each other. So that's going to be it. This is just a short little intro video to the uh, the concept, the upcoming videos in this series. I'll make a little playlist for them all, um, and I'll be updating the textbook to reflect these lessons as they come out. If you've used the textbook before, don't worry, they aren't going away. I'm just going to move them down into that resources tab, so that way all the old versions are still there. Uh, we just want to keep the most up-to-date stuff uh, available for the students and keep that ready to go. So that's going to be it for this video. So, you know, if you want to consider, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff, and I'll see you all next time that I see you. Bye.